Hello Bond fans and welcome to this update on Bond 25. Um, there's been a few pieces of news um, surrounding Bond 25 recently and the biggest of which, um, which is probably the most controversial piece of news, is um, Lashana Lynch, who is one of the main stars of Bond 25, is apparently going to be taking the title of 007. Now, a lot of people have been misled by this. Um, I myself, as well, when I first saw the articles, I thought that she was initially going to be taking over from Daniel Craig at the end of this film. That we don't really know about, but apparently, according to Phoebe Waller-Bridge, who's one of the writers on Vaughn 25, um, <clears throat> there's going to be a uh, kind of pivotal scene in the, in the beginning of the film where uh, M played by Ray Fiennes, says, um, come in 007, and we see Lashana Lynch, who is this black woman. Um, and of course, you know, everybody is up in arms about it. Um, I mean, at the end of the day, folks, all I can say is, she's not James Bond. She has not been cast as James Bond. I mean, her character is called Nomi. If you look at the <laughs> IMDb page, you'll see the character listed as Nomi. <coughs> Excuse me. Daniel Craig is still James Bond for one more movie. This is his last film, and they're not about to throw that away by casting her in in this role. Um, you know, as when he's leaving, she's basically just a placeholder. Um, judging from what the article says, she's a placeholder. She's just been Bond. She's just been. She's just been 007 while he's been away. Um, and yeah, I think it's pretty unlikely that she would replace him when he leaves. I mean, well, hopefully not. I mean, I mean, I don't think that this is anything major to worry about. I just think people are misinterpreting the articles and taking things the wrong way. Um, I think uh, Lashana Lynch will have a fairly prominent role by the sounds of it. I mean, I think we've seen her in the Jamaica video, um, so she's clearly involved in that. So I'm assuming that she will be brought in to bring Bond back because apparently there's a world crisis going on and they need him. Um, <clears throat> but she has been essentially his replacement while he's been away with uh, Madeline on, uh, well, retirement. <laughs> but, um, you know, and Barbara Broccoli has outright stated in the press and, in, and on social media that they will never cast a woman as James Bond because it's just... <clears throat> it's just not right. Um... I mean, no offence. I mean, I'm, again, I'm not a sexist, and I'm not, you know... I'm all for women getting more to do in films. I'm all for that. But when it comes to certain pre-established characters, it doesn't work. Um, I think James Bond should always be James Bond. He was written as a man. I know Ian Fleming grew up in a different time than we are in now. But I think with the formula of the Bond movies, the way they are, and the character himself, there's only so much you can really do. I think changing the gender doesn't work. Um, I mean, the, the females have been a huge part of the James Bond franchise already. I mean, we've had, you know, um, some great women over the years. Okay, fair enough. If you want to make them less sexualized and more grounded, then I'm, I'm all for that. You know, I'm okay. I'm okay if you want to um, give them more to do. I mean, since the Daniel Craig era, they've certainly tried to... Um, <clears throat> they've certainly tried to give the women more ground... Uh, essentially, like with Vespa, um, Camille, um, Judy Dench's M, even as well, um, Madeline Inspector. I mean, I mean, all of the women. Well, with the exception of probably Severin and Skyfall, she was a typical Bond girl. But other than that, all the women in the Daniel Craig era have pretty much been given great character development. Um, Naomi Harris as Money Penny included. So, you know, I don't think we have much to worry about. The only worry is if at the end of the film, the new film, if they decide to kill off Daniel Craig's Bond and continue the same timeline, the worry is, will they use Lashana Lynch? Um, I mean, I don't think it's likely. I think the producers have more sense than that. Um, <clears throat> but it does worry me that they could change their mind. I mean, Barbara Broccoli has said she wouldn't cast a woman. It just, it just doesn't work. And <coughs> even certain women... I've said it doesn't work. My previous college tutor has, um, I was in touch with on Facebook and, um, she said, she agreed with me that it wouldn't, that it wouldn't work. Well, make the women more, 
more prominent characters, as they have done, that's fine. I don't think there's anything wrong with the way the Bond movies are going at the moment. I mean, um, obviously, when the new actor comes in, they might change things up a bit. But, you know, I, I don't see what all the hysteria is about, really. I mean, it is a concern whether, you know, because Bond 25 could end in Bond's demise. But then again, I think the producers would have more sense than that. Um, it's just, you know, <clears throat> don't kill off Bond because that's not the point of his character. He's a survivor and he lingers on. I mean, and that is the tragedy of Bond is the fact that he's lost so many people, but yet he's the one that lingers on because of the life he leads. Um, and even when he tries to retire, he gets pulled back in somehow. So, yeah. But I mean, in, in regards to Lashana Lynch, I think um, she's a great actress. I have seen Captain Marvel and I really enjoyed it. Well, I, I enjoyed parts of it anyway. It was it was fun. It was more... It's more fun than it was good, really. Um, <clears throat> I may add it to my collection. I'm debating. But I liked her in that film. And, yeah, I think she's going to be a great addition to Bond 25. Um, I just hope that they don't use her as a distraction from Daniel Craig. I don't think they will. Because I don't want Daniel Craig to be sidelined in his own film. And I think Carrie Fukunaga has got a bit more sense than that. Um... But I mean, I mean, fair enough. Give her a lot to do in the action department, and, and you know, make her a tough, a tough character, and that's cool. I mean, we haven't had a black female in James Bond for, for quite some time. Um, not since I think Grace Jones in View to a Kill, so a long time. Um, I'm all for diversity. I'm all for that. I'm all for equality. I look at this with a considered eye. Part of me worries that they will break tradition, and you know, they might kill off Bond in the end. And then pass the the name back to Lashana Lynch, um, <clears throat> or maybe Lashana Lynch's character might die, and then the 007 name passes back to Daniel Craig. Um, <clears throat> I mean, who knows? I don't know how the ending of Bond 25 is going to go. I just hope Daniel Craig goes out on a high note, and I just I I hope that they don't, you know, lead us to believe that a woman is going to take over. Um, again, not because I'm not sexist, you know, I love women, you know, they're, they're a huge part of our lives and a huge part of James Bond, but I think making Bond the character of woman is wrong, and I don't think that's what they're doing in this film, I mean, clearly not, because Daniel Craig is Bond, you know, so, <coughs> um, I think it's just a nice idea just to kind of shake things up a bit, um, but again, I just don't want it to be, like, something that takes away from the focus of of the film, which is Daniel Craig as Bond, going up against the uh, the villains. I mean, there's a few more women in this film than the last film, so um, they, I think they're they're trying to be more diverse with the cast, which I appreciate. Um, and I have no doubt that Lashana Lynch is a great actress, and I look forward to seeing her character and seeing how she interacts with Daniel Craig. Um, so yeah, that's really it. I mean, I don't have much to say about it. I just. Um, <clears throat> I think the articles are very misleading. They're saying, oh, uh, 007 is now going to be a black female. Well, yes and no. You have to look at it in context. She's not she's not replacing Daniel Craig after he leaves. She has just been his... Repl in the story, Nomi has, been, has replaced Bond temporarily. Um, that is what the articles allude to. Um, I mean, there's loads of articles about it. You can look it up. But yeah, um, we'll have to wait and see for any more news. Um, the only other bit of news, really, is that they're filming in Scotland again, so that's good. Um, you know, going back to Skyfall, potentially. Will we see the wreckage of Skyfall? Um, I don't know about that, but there certainly is going to be a, a car chase in Scotland. There were some pictures released recently um, about with, uh, with a, a car and um, some helicopters around in Scotland. So that could be Bomb 25. I mean, we don't know. But yes, um, <coughs> sorry, I've got a bit of a cough. In regards to Lashana Lynch, then the whole, you know, the Black 007 thing, um, you know, it's fine. I mean, other they, there have been other times in the series when this has happened. Um, you know, other people have just taken the, the name 007, not Bond, just the, the number 007. So we will have to wait and see how Bond 25 pans out. But that's really all I'm going to say about this. I don't think we should worry too much about it. I think we should just try and, you know, look at this with a sense of perspective. Um, I mean, they could they could actually go the wrong way about this. But as long as they keep the focus on Daniel Craig 
as Bond because it is his story and it's his last film, and that's fine. Lashonda Lynch is a supporting character. That's fine. She can still do as much action as she needs to and still be a part of the plot and still be essentially a female 007 um, without being Bond. So, <clears throat> I mean, they can share the, the code name for this film, uh, <laughs> provided in Bond 26, that when the new guy comes in, it is a guy. Um, again, I mean, no disrespect to any women out there, and I know there are some feminists that will want this to change, but, I mean, they did it with Doctor Who, and I don't know how well it's really worked, to be honest. Um, not because of the change, but just because just of, like, the, the show itself is, is it really in disarray. But, um, yeah, no, um, I'm okay with a little bit of a shake-up, so we'll, we'll see. We'll see how, um, Bond 25 goes. I mean, they're always trying to reinvent the series somehow. Um... <laughs> you don't want it to become too formulaic. Um, but yes, I look forward to seeing this, and yeah, I will be back with further updates. So, sorry I'm a little bit late to the party. I didn't get a chance to record this until um, this morning. But um, yes, uh, thank you guys all for listening to me, and I will see you next time for more updates on Bond 25. See you then.